I spent a lot of time, maybe too much time, examining and testing a bunch of different templates designed specifically for blogs. In this video, I want to introduce you to the top 10 blog templates for WordPress and Elementor Pro. These templates are all designed by professional web designers and are an easy way to create a professional looking blog. If you're new to building websites and you've never used a website template before, at the end of this video, I'll tell you where you can learn for free the best way of getting started with one of these templates. I'm Tim from realwebsitehints.com, and it's my mission to help you find the best and easiest ways of building great looking websites. Now this video is about blog templates, not blog themes. Blog templates are a much smarter way of building a blog with WordPress. I go into a lot more detail about this in this video here, but essentially blog templates give you more control over the design of your website without you needing to be a web developer or really have any special skills. Plus, you can actually mix and match parts from different templates to effectively create your own WordPress theme. This is a game changer for bloggers because it puts the power of web design in your hands without you needing to spend months learning all the technical skills required to code and build your own WordPress theme, or even just modify your own WordPress theme. All these templates came from an amazing resource called Envato Elements. I did a whole video talking about the pros and cons of using Envato Elements, which you can find here. But what I like about Envato Elements is that it offers probably the largest collection of templates designed specifically for WordPress blogs. And as a content creator, it gives you much more than just access to website templates. It's also an amazing resource for all sorts of other creative content, from stock photos and videos, to graphics templates, music, Photoshop templates, and even Lightroom presets. Tons of creative elements that you can really use to take your blog to the next level. The other great thing about using an Envato Elements blog template is that with most of these templates, they actually offer a list of all of the images and graphic elements used in the preview. So with your subscription, you can not only get the template that you like, but also license all of the images and graphics so that your blog can look exactly the way it's shown in the preview which is not something that you could easily do with a lot of the blog templates or blog themes out there. So let's go ahead and take a look at these top 10 blog templates. I'll include a link to each of these templates in the description down below. That link helps to support all of the testing that I've done. So a big thanks for your support. Okay, so first up here, we've got this DFM template. And I think a recurring theme that you'll see here are one thing that drives me nuts about some of these templates is all of these kind of annoying animations. Uh, fortunately, since this is a template, you can turn it off if you want to for each ones, or if you like some of them, you can keep the ones that you like. And there's a lot of really nice looking page sections, as you can see here, that you can use. So that's a great feature. One of the things that I really like about all of these templates, if you want to change the colors to match your brand, it's really easy to do here because they're all set up properly with the main colors configured here inside the settings. Uh, it looks like this here are icons, which are probably part of a plugin, so those you'll have to change manually. But if you look at the rest of the page here, you can see that sort of these colors here are all being changed for us. So that's a really nice feature. Looking back over here at the blog pages, we've got the blog archive page. And this template only has one blog archive page, but I think it's a really nice, clean look. We've got these nice cards here with the title, the brief intro of the articles, and the read more button. So that looks really good. And the individual single posts look like this, which in WordPress is called the single post page. And it's actually where our blog content shows up. And I think that this page here looks really nice. Got a full width title here. We've got space here for the breadcrumbs, and then here we've got our post content on the left and a sidebar on the right. So a really nice look. Next up here, we've got the poet note template. And here we've got some more annoying animations. Uh, what I like about this here is that we've got a lot of different homepage styles uh, that we can look at and a lot of different sections. This is definitely a good template if you have a lot of blog articles or sort of a magazine style website that you wanna have can check out, we've got a couple different layout options for the single post layout. So I've got this here with the content on the left. I do like that we've got these social sharing icons over here on the left also. And then we've got the sidebar. And if you don't like the sidebar look, there's also this look here. And of course, because it's a template, you can adjust it any way you want to. We've got our archive page. We've got this masonry look here. So that's really nice if you like that. And then we've got a masonry look with a sidebar. 
So definitely sort of a classic blog design, but really nice, clean, and it saves you the time of having to design all of this yourself. Next up, we've got the IGU template, which is another sort of podcast style template. It's a nice dark look, some interesting design elements here. And again, with this template here, if we want to change the colors, we can do that to match our brand. It's all set up really well here. So that looks really nice. And going back to the original template here, we've got a couple of blog options. This is a blog feed option here, and this is the other blog feed option we have here. It's just sort of like really basic, nice cards. I do like this look. I do wish that it had a sidebar, perhaps. We also have a single post page look here where you could have your featured image up here and then the title of your blog post. But what's also nice about this is that if your blog doesn't feature a lot of photos, you can just keep one image here across all of your blog posts, uh, which would look nice. And then you just have your basic blog post content here and it would look really nice. One thing to note about this template here is that uh, the blog post design isn't set up to automatically put in the post content. It's really easy to do with Elementor Pro. You just add in the post content widget here instead of this text, but it would have been nice if they had done that for you automatically. But again, it's really easy to set up. Got a second design here. Um, also another great design if you don't have a lot of images on your blog. You could definitely easily put sort of a graphic element here or a title type element here instead of an image and it would look really good. So I think that those are the strengths of the I IQ, IQ template here. So next up we have the ink craft template, which is another sort of classic blog design. And this one here also gives us a ton of different homepage options that they've designed for us. So that's really nice. I think there's 10 different homepage options. So definitely something to choose from. Another good classic blog magazine style layout to use. Got four different single post looks. So we can definitely find a look that you like here. Sidebar options, options without sidebars. So definitely a lot of different designs to choose from. Kind of like this design here, it looks really nice. Uh, we also have a lot of different archive page designs here too. So definitely a lot to choose from for a more classic style blog look. The next template we have here is called Zetto. And this is a very bold looking dark template. It looks really nice. I do think part of what makes this template look nice is all of the great images that are used on it. And so if you have strong images, or if you can see how you would use this theme with different images or the images that you have, this could be a very effective template here. And again, we've got great control here over the colors of this. You can check out all of the different colors here, ton of control of the colors, all of the colors are here to change out, make it match your brand, whatever you need to do, and make it just look fantastic for your website. We've got the blog and news feed page here. So this is really cool. One thing to note on this one here is that for this blog feed, it does require an additional plugin to get this exact look and styling, but that plugin is a free plugin and you get the prompt to install it when you install this template. One thing to also notice is I don't know what happened with the designers of this template, but they did forget to add in their actual single blog post type template, but all the parts are there. You just need to grab the parts from different pages and put them together. So that's one thing to note on this specific template. But if you like this bold look and you can see how you might want to change the colors of it to match your brand, this is a great option. Next up here, we've got another classic blog design style, and this one's Poet and Pen. A ton of homepage options here again. So really nice looking sort of classic blog pages. Got uh, several different single post pages here. Got a full width page here, title on top, category, metadata, looks really nice. And then sidebar option here. Another single post option here. This one here with a featured image not as large. So again, if you don't have as large of images, you might want to use this template here. And of course, with Elementor, you can mix and match the different templates and you can have multiple different templates for your blog posts on your website at the same time. You can choose to have it organized by different categories, have different looks. There's various different ways of using different single post blog designs on your website. And we also have several different blog archive page designs here too for your blog feed. Next up, we've got the Voicey, Voicey? 
template here. Um, sort of more of a corporate looking template, I would say, but a very stylish corporate looking template. And again, colors are well set up here. We've got a global colors, so you can easily change the colors to match your brand. Uh, okay, so you can definitely change up the colors, have it match your brand. So fantastic look here. This one here, we just have one blog feed page, but I really like the look of this page. I like these cards with the outlines, the sidebar here. And for the actual single post page, really nice classic design. We've got our featured image taking up this whole header section here. Title, tag, title, category, metadata. Just, I mean, this to me looks like a professional blog that might be for a corporate blog or maybe a business style blog. Really nice look. And now we've got this mystic template, which is just a simple dark themed template. So if you want a dark themed blog, we've got this template here, simple classic design, nice and elegant. And we've got a simple blog page here. Looks nice. Classic blog design. Very nice. And we've got this single post page here also, which, you know, big, bold featured image in the background that's darked out and then a title and then just our blog content here. So just a very simple dark themed blog if that's what you're looking for. Next up here is the Podsk template. And I like this design just because it's a little bit quirky. It's a little bit different. It's not what you normally see. And sort of just a lot of interesting design elements to this. I really liked this idea here that they had where they've got the black and white images and then when you hover over them, they turn it into color. I think that's a really cool design idea. Here for the blog, we just have one blog feed page, one blog archive page, but it's a nice look, simple, elegant look. And then we've got one single blog post look here. And I think this is another great design here if you don't have a lot of images on your blog, just because of the way that it's laid out. It doesn't really require a lot of great images for your blog. And again, with this one here, you can see I've adjusted the colors and that's all in the Elementor Global Customs color settings. So you can definitely get this template set up for your brand. Last up here is the Kanawa template, which is actually the template that I used in my step-by-step -step tutorial. So if you want to learn how to use one of these templates and how to set it up for yourself, I did it with the Kanawa template in my step-by-step -step tutorial, and that'll teach you how to use any of the templates that are available. This has like got a lot of great looking page sections here, really nice designs. And over here for the pages, we've got a nice looking blog archive page. I think it's Sort of fun look. I really like the card look. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but I think the card look is very nice. We've got a category page here. So we've got this one style here, cards on one side, and then sidebar here. And then there's also a couple different other styles here. This one here is called the author archive page, but you could use it just as a standard archive page if you prefer this result. There's also a single article page, so that looks really nice. And then the single post page here. Think it's a cool look this is definitely one of those templates that you want to have good images for this template is designed for showing off really nice Im images which is why i think they're using it as a travel blog example website but i like this featured image in the background title category metadata here and then you scroll down and you see the blog content here on the left and a sidebar on the right so just a really nice design great if you have a lot of great looking images Okay, so that rounds out the top 10 blog templates that I found on Envato Elements. But that's just my opinion. I would encourage you to check out all of the other website templates and see which ones you like. And if you find a website template that you like and you want help setting it up, you can check out this video here where I'll walk you through step-by-step -step how to set up and edit one of these templates. And if you don't need a full step-by-step -step tutorial, you can also check out this quick start guide here where I'll give you just the main points of what you need to help you get your blog template and your website up and running. And if you have any questions about blog templates or websites, please leave them down in the comments below.